Hello, my name is Morris Man, and I would like to introduce you to the world laziest cat. His name is Mr. Buttons. Mr. Buttons is an eight month old golden tabby. I found Mr. Buttons one day under my car, whining and hungry. Apparently, someone had given Mr. Buttons his eviction notice on short notice. So, being the kind person that I am, I took him in, not knowing what I was going to get into. Mr. Button's favorite pastime, as you guessed it, sleeping, 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 eating, and more sleeping. Mr. Button slept so much that I thought something was wrong with him. So I took him to the vet to determine if he was okay. And the vet told me, there's nothing wrong with this cat. He's just lazy. In other words, you have a lazy cat on your hands. Oh boy. I'm not new to taking care of cats, but I never understood something. Why do cats want to tear up your couch? Why do they scratch and gnaw at your couch? Is the couch a natural born enemy to that to the animal? I don't know. Seems like the only time Mr. Buttons wants to be bothered, you've guessed it, when it's feeding time. When you try to rub him and show him any kind of affection, the only thing he wants to do is bite and scratch you. I guess he never heard that old saying. You never bite the hand that feeds you. A little snap ahead. As a kid, I never realized how expensive it was to keep a cat. I mean, think about it. You got your cat food, your litter, litter box, and accessories. And when your parents realized that they couldn't afford to continue this, you were eventually forced to take the animal for a quote-unquote ride. Of course, they never came back from that ride. And I think very soon, Mr. Buttons will be taking his very own ride because he just won't let me get any rest. I can't get any sleep. So the question I have out there is, is there anyone out there that wants a cat? <laughs>